Alright guys, so Nikki Bubblegum here today. So clearly I just finished coloring my hair. It's still hella wet. There's still like some little tiny spots that uh, didn't turn dark enough or like I missed, I guess. So we're gonna recolor that shit later on. But yeah, pretty much hair, dark, pink, gone. Whole video about it. Uh, but yeah, today's day zero or day one, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm gonna start using this gel shit stuff. Um, so this is the little package one. It's the 0 0.5 ounce one. So I'm just gonna give it a try. I just got the little one. It's $12 and something cents. So about $13. It comes in this little itty bitty fucking bottle. Um, but yeah, so it's an acne cream. Clearly my face it is a hot mess right now. I've been doing a lot more working out, so I'm pretty sure that has a lot to do with it. Okay, so the more I read this little instruction pamphlet thing, the more and more I'm not looking forward to this, and I feel like it's just going to make my face worse. And let me read some of this to you so you know exactly why. So, and that and I know a lot of you guys aren't going to read this if you use it. So, um, first of all, you can only use it if you're 12 years and older, which, check, totally. Um, you're only supposed to use it once a day. Like, it literally says in here, like, hella a lot that you can only use it more once a day. Like, in almost every single little area. You also cannot use it if you're breastfeeding or pregnant. So, it's probably gonna fuck with your hormones or some shit. And since there is a potential for some other dr uh, drugs and creams that are like it that can cause birth defect. This one isn't linked to it, though. Still hella shady as fuck. And like of course not to use it if you're allergic to any of the ingredients which I double checked I looked on the online site and it says I'm not allergic to any of it I also looked at the package so so if it does not completely destroy and it bloated my, my face because I'm allergic to it we'll see hopefully because I, I did my best to see that I wasn't but who fucking knows and then it says for how to apply the product so again once a day for like the 15th time in here um, so you have to clean your face first and pat it dry before you put on this gel stuff and then you're supposed to put a thin layer over your entire face like it's not meant for spot treatment your entire face but then it also says avoid product contact with eyes lips and mouth and that if it even touches your mouth to even just a little bit if contact occurs immediately flush the area with water so you do not want it anywhere near anything on your face and then it says, do not apply product to damaged skin, cuts, abrasions, eczema, or sunburn, but is it technically acne itself, some type of skin abrasion, like these red, you know, the whole thing that it's like supposed to be treating, this whole red, like this whole area right here, this whole face. So, I don't know. We will see. And then it says, for how long it will work, it says, it may take up to three months of daily use for results to appear. Three months not a couple weeks, a month, three motherfucking months. Like, that's a third of growing a baby. Like, the fuck. Like, the legit fuck. So, still gonna give this shit a try. I'm not looking very forward to it right now at this point, but who knows? I could be pleasantly surprised. Maybe this is just trying to scare me. Okay. Now we're to the back of it. So first of all, you're not supposed to be like in direct sunlight when you're using this shit. So I'm gonna start using it tonight. That way like around nine o'clock so I can like sleep and stuff with it and not have like skin irritation um, with it. It says you have to use sunscreen, but you have to let it dry. You cannot be in the sunlight, which is kind of hell of an inconvenience if you ask me. So this part might be really important if you use moisturizer because it says it's going to probably cause a lot of dryness and irritation. It's mentioned in like a whole bunch of different things that like pretty much everything can irritate your face. The sun, your moisturizer, you have to make sure that it doesn't contain certain ingredients like alpha hydroxy or glycolic acid which can worsen irritation and then like everything that can cause irritation. When is it more likely to cause or become more irritated using this product besides just actually using it itself? Um, right, so definitely in the first couple weeks apparently, just a few weeks. But if you're supposed to use this for three months, who knows? It could be a whole month. But so far I'm not looking forward to using this. Um, not at all. And 
and then it just keeps suggesting to use moisturizer. Okay, so it says the only time you should be concerned and maybe consider stop using this is after four weeks if the irritation continues. So you have to wait at least a month before you can be like, this shit ain't working because it's supposed to be like that, I guess. Um, oh, you're also not allowed to wax when you're using this. So if you whack your, your eyebrows or anything in your face, God, can't do it. Sorry, it says nothing at all to remove skin for waxing. Um, let's see here. It talks about its active ingredients. So if you have allergies, definitely want to read that. And how it has to be kept in a temperature between 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So basically what is cold for me. But you're not allowed to let it freeze. Oh no, and there's a number for extra questions. But apparently this is going to cause a lot of skin irritation and stuff. But my face is already hella a mess right now. So I mean, why not give this a try and see if it actually works. So, okay. Now that I got the ranting out, we're going to try and stay positive and give this shit an actual try. So, um, I'm going to continue to use my, if I didn't break it, my Clinique face wash and then my toner. I'm probably going to skip the moisturizer in the evening, maybe only use it in the morning after washing my face and stuff just because uh, even though the ingredients say it shouldn't cause any issues with the stupid little pamphlet thingy, um, rather be safe than sorry. So we're going to do that. So instead of a moisturizer, I'm going to use that at night and then use my regular moisturizer in the morning since I can only use that stuff once a day. It even said on there not to use it more than once a day because it could cause more irritation. It's not going to cause any faster results. So if it's already going to irritate my face enough, I'm definitely not going to do it twice a day. So I'll be back. I'm going to wash my face, put it on, and this video is going to be a whole bunch of different days. So. So it's just going to be kind of like um, a couple little updates here and there. Um, I thought the results for the thing are supposed to be sooner, so I was going to try and do like a daily video, but considering it says it could be up to three months, um, maybe after a week is when I'll do it, so I might see you guys in a week. If I start seeing results a little sooner, definitely let you know. Maybe do like a quick little picture thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out since it's just the first day, but yeah, i uh, going to go ahead and wash my face with that see what happens. And I'll talk to you guys later. See you in a couple of days, weeks, months, who knows? I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Okay, guys, so it is Tuesday night. I started Friday, so it is day five of me putting on that acne cream stuff on my face. And I don't really see a difference in the breakouts. Um, I'm still covered and gross. Um, I have noticed the sensitivity though, like to sunlight, like my whole face feels like tingly, kind of burny in direct sunlight, which is not fun. Um, but I don't spend a lot of time in the sun other than like taking Lily on short walks. Nothing a hat can't fix. Um, it also seems to, like my face is a little more sensitive to like my toner, things like that. Um, if I would try and wash my face with warmer water, it feels really super hot. But other than that, that seems to be the only problem I'm having with moisturizing in the morning. I'm not having like a whole lot of dry peeliness. So, I mean, it's a little smoother. But like the number of breakouts. I'm trying to be patient. Considering it said it could take up to three motherfucking months. But I'm already on day five. And I'm already like, bitch, where you at? But where you at though? So, I will be patient. I am trying to. Because this is not cute. Not cute at all. It looks so bad. So bad. So I'll be back to you guys with another update. Maybe in like a week and a half. We'll see how impatient I get. Because I might need to rant some more. But yeah. This is the progress so far. Okay guys. So this is exactly one week from starting using um, this face cream stuff. I definitely feel like my face is clearing up a little bit so far. It's definitely not quite as red and broken out. So I'm going to give it a little more time. Um, clearly I did decide to give, break up this video into a couple different parts. So this will be part one. And I'm going to do the side by side pictures and everything like that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will continue to post other parts to kind of keep up with the progress over the next couple months. Since it's going to take three motherfucking months for results apparently. But considering how much has changed in one week. 
I think maybe in two to three weeks. So we'll see. But um, I hope you guys like this video. And as always, please subscribe. And have a beautiful day, my beautiful people. Bye.